Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polar. In today's video, we're going to look at our fourth and final option for creating a new data flow. Let's take a look. All right, in today's video, we're going to look at how we will attach an external CDM folder to create a new data flow inside of Power BI. This option is gonna be different from the other options that we've looked at in previous videos because the ETL work or the data preparation work for this data flow is not going to be performed by Power BI. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, find a CDM folder in Azure Data Lake storage that has already been created, maybe by Data Factory, maybe by Databricks, maybe by Informatica, by some other software, and we are going to take its model.json file and attach that into Power BI Power BI will use that metadata and make it look to all of our users as if it were just another data flow. Let's check it out. So as we can see, I have a workspace in Power BI that already has three different data flows in it, and I'm going to create a fourth one. So I'll come up here, I'll choose Create Data Flow. As we've seen before, we have these four different options. We're going to choose this fourth one, but in order to do this, we need the URL, we need that full path to a model.json file. So to get that, we're going to jump over into Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer is one tool that we can use to view and manipulate the data that we have in our various Azure storage accounts. And as you can see here, I have a CDM folder with a model.json as well as folders for all of the entities. And if I right click and choose properties, so I hit control C to copy the URL of that model.json file, which is the address of the CDM folder. And now we'll jump back over into Power BI to use it. So here in Power BI, I will choose create and attach. And the first thing I will do is I will paste in that URL. They call it the path to the common data model folder. We know that it is that full URL to the model.json file. The next thing that we'll do is we'll enter a name, and then we'll choose Create and Attach. Now this is probably the simplest of all of the options that we've looked at. So we didn't need to uh, define any queries, we didn't need to, uh, to import anything. All that we're doing is we're saying, there's already a CDM folder out there, so there's already the data and the metadata that, that exists in Azure. We are referencing it, and as we look here in our workspace, we now have a fourth data flow. It's marked here as we're viewing it as external. To the end user, they won't be able to tell the difference. But what we can see is that we don't have the same options. We can't refresh it because the refresh, the data ingress is taking place through another service uh, and refresh related options that we would see for a data flow created in Power BI are not present. What we can do is we can look at the settings, we can look at properties, or we could delete it. And of course, it's now available for use through Power BI Desktop or as the source for linked entities from other users. We've looked at the fourth way that we can create a new data flow inside our Power BI workspace by attaching an external CDM folder to create an external data flow. We're essentially bridging the gap between the self-service business user focused BI inside of Power BI and this professional uh, pro code uh, BI and data engineering taking place in Azure. And the work that's being done to create these CDM folders using any other tool, whether it's a Microsoft tool or a third party tool or a custom tool that your IT team has developed, they can all write to the CDM folder format and Power BI can use them to attach them as data flows. We'll see you next time.